Oh, encoding overload. I don't, I don't know why it does that when I ch is it is it the transition? It could be the transition. But I like fading to color. How hard could fading to color be? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, Resident Evil. Last time I got to the final boss, but <laughs> didn't actually beat it. Spent like a million years trying to beat it. And then it turns out, you know, I, as any sane person would, I then immediately took to Google. Is this the right one? It might be memory card number five. I immediately took to Google to try and find another strategy, and by God, I might have done it. Yeah, there we go. PSX or Saturn? Uh, PlayStation. I actually did not know there was a Saturn version until, like, just yesterday. <laughs> So anyway, it turns out I might have been being a little too direct with the final boss. And if I'm correct, you'll see what I mean. But hey everybody, how you doing today? Okay, no, no, no. I don't want to talk to the fly man. Yeah, so let's let's hope my new strategy is true. But basically what I've heard is that you may let's not need go. to actually fight the thing. It might be more about surviving. Yeah, and these cutscenes repeat even if you save, which I did. It is really hot in this house right now. It shouldn't be, it's November. But this house is sentient and determined to make me as uncomfortable as possible. Okay, so what's neat is I didn't realize the reason this battery is here is to make sure that you have an inventory space open for the flare. Also, thank you for the follow. And that, that's pretty smart design, I will say. God, I cannot describe to you how much I love the voice acting in this game. It, it, it's a lost art. It truly is. Give me a chance to play nice guy. Just grab the flare. Now, I don't know if purposefully waiting to do the flare is a viable strategy for this. I don't know if it's based on the timer or how long the boss is active. It's also pretty in line with a lot of the B-horror movies that inspired the game. Yeah, that is true. I mean, I say, having not watched that many B-movies. But I've seen enough. Okay, so just get him out here. So apparently this doesn't happen if Barry dies, which I think is interesting. Okay, so just kind of, like, keep him, keep him close, because you don't want him to do that. Oh, 
Ah, oh, crap. Does that make me lose health while well, I'm on caution right now? Okay, yeah, that does make you- <laughs> that does make you lose health. Now the question is, can I do this? I am not good at dodging that. No, 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 no. Amazon? Oh, crap. Oh, but I died anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that seems a lot more doable. Yeah, I thought that if you stayed close enough to him that he wouldn't charge you. I mean, maybe I wasn't close enough. <laughs> maybe it's worth waiting before using the flare. It's worth- it's worth trying. Better than having to dodge him constantly. Well, you say that, but that's what I tried the last time I played the game, and, and it wasn't... It wasn't great. <laughs> I did die a bunch doing that. But yeah, first I'm gonna try purposefully waiting on the flare. And see if that affects... See if that affects it. See, I don't know how true it is, but I've heard, like, I was reading about this game a little bit last night. I heard that it's not, the auto-aim's not even in this version. Like, it might have only been Let's Japanese go. and remake for whatever reason. Now, that could be total BS, but I don't know. There's a lot of misinformation about this game, it, it turns out. Pardon me. That's what that Coca-Cola will do to you, man. I really wish I could skip through this, but yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely sounds like Resident oh, Evil no. 2 made a lot of quality of life improvements, which, I mean, they really should have, you know? You know, that's what a sequel should do. Like, auto-aim is better. Uh, you can throw enemies off of you, like, or, no, you can do that in this game, but I mean, what I mean to say is, when, when you throw enemies off of you, they, like, stagger back more and also, like, stun other enemies, apparently. So it kind of keeps you from getting <laughs> comboed. So yeah, one day, one day I will probably end up play. Like I would like to play, if nothing else, the first four, maybe five. I don't know when or <laughs> how or what, who, what, where, when, and why. But I would like to do that. So what happens if I just? Stand here, and don't do anything. Now 
Not super crazy about OG Resident Evil 3, but 2 and 4 are great. Yeah, those are the two that I tend to see people, like, bring up. Like, when, when people are talking about the best games in this series, I usually hear 2 and 4. Though I've heard some pretty good things about 8 as well. I mean, some of it might be that people are horny for the vampire lady, but <laughs> nonetheless, good things. Okay, so I'm gonna try getting like maybe four to 40 seconds and then using the flare just to, or maybe not 40. I'll, I'll get like one minute in. Code Veronica is also pretty solid, but it's A tier instead of S tier, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, that's the one for the Dreamcast, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, because I want to give, I want to give some time for the cutscene to play out. I might have should have given it more time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Science moment. <laughs> Jill just stands around, has a cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah, this cutscene takes way longer than 30 seconds. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, okay then. Yeah, this might not be the strategy. At least we get to see what happens when you let the timer run out. But yeah, honestly, if he's gonna dash at me no matter what, I think keeping like a large amount of distance is better. Like I've had better luck dodging when he's been far away from me. But I don't know. I don't know, this might still take a hot minute. <laughs> a hot minute to do. The triggering system has been triggered. We have a plan now, yeah. Also, another fun fact that I learned about last night is that the dude who played Wesker didn't even remember that he had played Wesker, which I think is funny. <laughs> they were just like, oh, dude, I loved you in Resident Evil 1. And he was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's go. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Like I said, if I just had one more heal, I think I think we would have been done with this ages ago. But I guess that's just the trap I have made for myself. There is three minutes until 
chance to play nice guy. Okay. Oh, bitrate. You. See you get the hell out. Bitrate die. Okay, it's fun. It's fun now. I mean, my bitrate has stabilized a, a fair amount as of late, so the internet guy coming in here did did help me, which I'm glad. Okay, so little experiment here. Uh, see if it, see if he drops it, like, any later in the timer, now that I did that. Oh, it's do it, oh, it did it again. It did it again. I hope it don't keep doing that. I might have to reset my router if it do. Oh no. Yeah, if you just, like, turn around him. Okay, that didn't work. No, it, it does seem to be 30. It's coming! Jill! Kill that monster! You're our Amazon, Jill! <laughs> Die, bastard! First try. <laughs> My internet is as dead as the tyrant. Oh, live action. Live action. Jill Sleepy. Barry Goon. So that was Resident Evil 1, or at least the Jill half. 
I would like, like I said, I think I would like to uh, play the <laughs> the Chris version, but you know, n not right away. This t ended up taking longer than expected. So I'd say maybe in a couple months, I would want to do it. Maybe I don't know. Just later down the line. But yeah, overall, I'd say thumbs up. It's a good game. I can see why this, you know, caught on the way it did. Also, the plant. Barry was supposed to come in with the flame. Oh, I had to get caught. That's why. That's why it didn't die. Yeah, so you poison it, and then you have to get caught, so Barry comes in and flames it to death. But I didn't do that, so I just had to- I just ended up killing it myself anyway. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Like I said, probably we'll check out the other half of this game down the line. And then, you know, at some point I'll do Resident Evil 2. But not right now, because I'm a little burnout. <laughs> But yeah, good game, good game. Little jank, but some of it's on purpose. And it's also just old, I don't know. <laughs> old game. Anyway, as soon as the credits are over, I'm going to go restart my router. <laughs> and then I'll be back with Sonic Frontiers. So once I go offline, just know that I, I shall return. If that's interested, if you're interested in seeing anything like that. But yeah, this this bitrate's taking a fat dump. I don't know what's going on. It's been pretty good lately. I don't know. But right now, it's just like, ugh. Total time to beat 8 hours, 22 saves. Oh, I got the special key. Find closet. Yeah, so you can get like a different outfit for Jill, I think. Yeah, so you can do New Game Plus, but I will not be doing that. Okay, so anyway, be, be right back. Give it a second so it don't cut me off. <laughs> 